Hi everyone, Cassius here, and today I'm going to go over the party that build that I'm using for my unfair playthrough, and also a brief demonstration of how it will work in combat. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing is the main character. He is a Divine Hound Aeon build. This is largely based off of the CRPG Bros build for his Aeon, and I took a look at it, liked it, and decided to tweak it a little bit to make it my own. And I'm still tweaking with it as I go through. I don't really have a set path. I just kind of build it as I play. This is how it goes. It's a two-hander. I went with Faust Shards at level 7, so that way I could have the Reach instead of the Grave Singer Great Axe for the crits. And it's I go up with Improved Initiative early, Combat Reflexes, Blind Fight to protect myself against the Novice Who's Gazes and other Gazes as well. I got Weapon Focus here. The big difference... And all the teamwork feats, the useful ones, seize the moment, shake it off, back to back, combat coordinate maneuvers, and outflank at level two. The big difference between this build is I'm going to take three levels into Fighter Mutation Warrior from 14, 15, and 16. So that way I can get the Mutagen at level 16. And I can get the Dazzling Display here, Shatter Defenses right here, along with Boon Companion to keep my Animal Companion at a high level. I will still be able to get to the six level spells and I will get all of the useful abilities, including one with the wild. Although this one probably not as useful as it could be. I could probably even skip that one if I wanted to and put a fourth level in the fighter mutation warrior for weapon specialization if I so desire. Animal Companion is built around doing as much damage as possible other than early level. He was designed to tank because he needed to have a tank in the beginning of the game. I got Furious Fall at level 2 instead of level 1, or sorry, 3 instead of 1. So weapon Focus, that was Tandem Trip, not sure why it's not showing up there. But then you get the Blind Fight, Improved Critical, Combat Reflexes, you'll get Dazzling Display and Shadow Defenses next. Sila, your Paladin for now, up to level 13, which is where I'm at in the game. Uh, for 14 and 15, I'm going to take her down Alchemist, Alchemist to Vivisectionist, so that way she can get the a mutagen that gives her bonus to charisma to make her mark of justice more useful. And then she'll probably go back to Paladin right after that. So she can just get make that do as much damage as possible for the rest of the game. The horse, her horse companion, is built entirely for tanking purposes. Well, almost entirely. Dodge combat reflexes for the improved attacks. And then crane style, crane wing outflank and shake it off. I could get back to back to increase it even further, but I'm probably going to go with crane repost next, possibly uh, weapon focused as in display shadow defenses, but that's not his role. So I don't really expect him to hit very much at the end of the game. He's there a tank. Ember is mostly there for support for the protective luck and fortune hexes, also the beast's gift. I'm also having her be a bit of a blaster as well, so I'm giving her the spell penetration, heightened spells, and also uh, lore master, so that way she can get the shadow defenses and getting additional spells when she gets to the higher levels. This is a mercenary, a scald mercenary, that I went with because this is a hugely melee group, lots of melee damage, so you want to always want to have a scald when you do that. I originally was going to go with Regil for my scald, but I realized that by the end of the game, it really would take him a long time to get the ability. So he would only be able to get greater beast totem, like level 17 to 19, somewhere in that range. So it would take forever for him. And I wanted to have that in late chapter three, early chapter four. So I decided to create a mercenary for that. If you wanted to, you could make Ember your scald, or you could go with Daerin as a scald if, if that, that was your thing. You could even make Sela as a scald. So actually, you see those as a scald in a couple of my playthroughs, and that would work just fine. And we go with him. He's here for the domains, so that way you can get the ever useful community domain. And I'm going to show that to you in just a second how that will work with this build. His pet is largely focused around tanking, or sorry, not tanking, damage. Series Fall, Combat Reflexes, Improved Initiative, Improved Critical, Fight. And he'll be getting the Weapon Focus Shatter Defenses line for the next three. The last character is a ranged character who is focused around supporting the party, 
taking out the enemies away from the group that are hard to get in the initial rush of combat. And right now, Rouchelet is decent at it. She's not great. She doesn't do enough damage for her to really take out something that's that far away. But she's getting there. I kind of wish I would have taken her into a few levels into Alchemist Vivis Visectionist. So that way she could buff the tanks with the shield spell, but I didn't do that. So I might switch her out for land later on because he's going with a freebooter and Alchemist through the sectionist route. He gets so that way he can support the party with further buffs and further bonuses to attack roll. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see how the rest of the playthrough goes. But her build right now is pure archer, like I was going through in hard. We'll see if it's unfair viable. At least with this party. My guess would be no. I'm sure she could be, but not with the, this particular build focused around the melee support. One thing I do want to note is the improved initiative that I got for my all my characters. Oh, almost all of them. I think he doesn't have it yet. But improved initiative is super important for doing as much damage as possible in this game early. You want to go quick, and you want to kill things within the first round or two before they even get to act because they hit hard and you are uh, something you really want to avoid you can get up a, the tanks will eventually get up to a high enough ac like he can get up to over 60 ac at this point in the game which is very good but even then they don't always go for the tanks right away so you really want to kill them as fast as you possibly can i even went so far as to take improved initiative mythic at level four just because I wanted that bonus to initiative right quick. And even got inspirational leader for her at third level. Make sure we got that bonus to initiative. Even if it's just plus two at that point, it's still worth it. Uh, ever ready. Outflank on everyone. Ever ready early. So that way you can get those bonus attacks opportunity and bonus to attack and damage roll. Super useful. He doesn't have it. He's all, he's mostly support. That's, that's his role is to support the party. By the end of the game, he'll be... He'll be good enough to be part of the damage, but not yet. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and go over the demonstration, shall we? So the battle starts off with all my characters charging in. Turn base mode turned off. Which will allow me to just rush in there real quick. Yep. Normally I would have haste also cast on me, but in the Midnight Isles DLC, I have this annoying debuff, which makes it so whenever I cast a spell, a little guy pops up and I have to fight him and that ruins the whole thing. So I don't want to do that, but I have, I'm buffed to the nines for this level as far as I can really. I even got Ember to give me really long fortune buff. So got that going for me, makes it so I have even better rolls. And so the chart now go. All right. So you see how quickly he died? Whole bunch of attacks super fast. Now if that's done, turn base mode real quick. Just make it so all my guys get to go quick. We're going to go early. Turn those on. If I need to, I can turn this on, but I don't think I'm going to need it for this fight. So let's go ahead and get the succubus. One attack, a bunch of hits, killed Succubus super fast. She even got an attack of opportunity. Oh, so no, no, that was the wrong one. Attacks the Succubus, got a critical hit, which means the, the dog got additional attack of opportunity as well. And the dog got to hit. Trip was a success. And because she got tripped, got an attack of opportunity, critical hit, and died. That is how this is supposed to work. And this is on unfair. And critical hit, bunch of attacks opportunity, lots of hits, lots of damage. And to give you an idea of the types of hits, so plus 51 to attack roll at level 13. That's very good, by the way. Damage isn't, it's not great. Only 35 for Reginald. But when you have four or five people surrounding the target and each one is getting an attack of opportunity and they're all hitting because they all have really high attack bonuses to their attacks of opportunity, then 
things die very, very quickly. Especially if I didn't even use Mark for Justice on that. So that plus 51 to Reginald's attack, that would be even higher. That would At this point, that would be plus 9. I think she's got 29 charisma with all the buffs. So that'd be plus 60. A level 13, that's insane. Take a look at him. Plus 55 for my main character. And he wasn't, he wasn't even using his Aeon's Gaze. That would give him an additional plus 3. So, and that's Korg's a lot. That's the, <laughs> that's what I call my dog, Sir Korg's a lot every game. And he has plus 62. Again, no Aeon Gaze. That would be plus 3 at this point. That'd be plus 65. And then you add an additional plus 9 from the Mark of Justice. That'd be 74. He would have 74 to his attack roll. That's enough to hit almost anything, even in late game. So... This build works very, very well. It is super effective, and I can highly recommend it if this is how you would like to go through the game. If you have more questions, I'd just go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. I would love to answer anything you might have. But that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you had a good time. And until I see you again, have a good one, y'all. Later.